Hello everyone, welcome to uh, our next tutorial. Today uh, I will show you how to create Apple Watch applications. So uh, for starting, uh, we just need to create a project and select the watch OS from a top bar. And here we have two type of applications. Uh, actually the previous version of uh, watch OS, uh, we just have only iOS app with watch app. Uh, with the latest watch OS app, we can now create a watch app uh, only. So uh, I will continue with the watch app, but uh, I want to show uh, how it uh, how it will look like uh, when you create iOS app with watch app. So let's just create a project fastly, and so it looks. Uh, like that uh, in the upper part upper part is our ios applications as you know uh, storyboard controller and etc and the bottom parts are about uh, watch kit <clears throat> so we have a watch kit app and extensions uh, and watch kit app contains a storyboard site which we create a user interface and the extension part is create a controller and etc so uh, I will stop here and continue with a new project, watch app project and watch kit app, watch app, let's, let's write watch app. So interface will be storyboard, I'm not gonna uh, talk with Swift UI, maybe it will be in our next tutorials. So uh, when you choose Swift UI, the lifecycle also changes Swift UI app or watch app, watch kit app delegate. But in, if you select storyboard in interface side, the only lifecycle is app delegate, language is Swift, not Objective C. Uh, and I'm not gonna include notification scenes. And we, we don't need it actually, that's why I'll continue with this one, yeah. When we create only watch kit applications, uh, the iOS side not comes. Okay, let's compare it and you see, we don't need this side, so we don't need uh, those classes. So what I mean, uh, notification scenes, and uh, I didn't check the selection box. So if I, I can show you like that, the some user interface comes uh, automatically when you choose the notification scene option. Uh, we don't need these scenes, that's why I'm not, I, I didn't uh, choose it. Okay, let's continue. Okay, what we are going to do, we are going to, uh, the, to the application, listing the cars, and just image view and the name of the car. When we select, we will go to the next screen and and show the name of the car. And uh, we will have a button action, tapping the button, continue, uh, come back to the previous screen. So, uh, let me firstly talk about the controllers. The controller is extended with WK interface controller, watch kit actually interface controller. In iOS, it's UI, as you know, it's UI view controller. Yeah, UI view controller. And in WatchKit, it's WatchKit interface controller, not view, it's interface controller is controller. So let's continue with storyboard. So we need a table and drag and drop here. And uh, in the left side you see that we have a table and table row controller. What does it mean? It's actually the cell, the same logic with the cell in the, our uh, iOS applications. We have a class identifier. So also we have a group. Uh, in iOS uh, we have a content view inside of our cells. Uh, here we have a group. A group actually uh, it has the same logic with stack views in iOS. So same vertical, horizontal, and here I have an overlap and inset spacing between it. 
and other stuff, color, etc. So we will have an image inside of this group, and our our group will be horizontal. Yeah. So uh, we also don't have a constraints in watch kit. Uh, we just uh, setting the alignment left not vertical center and that's all and also I want a label mm, yeah I want change their orientations actually uh, not with fit content I want give static let's say 40 40 it's a little big 36 36 yeah and also it's also in the center left size with content and let's change the font not body with system 12 14 yeah cool okay left alignment yeah we create our uh, cells uh, we don't have any image actually that's why it's not uh, showing something let's create our cell watch kit class uh, by the way our cell will be in its object list cell let's call it list cell let me drag here yeah and changing the name list cell yes inherent from target also I want to give identifier same with class name and adding these variables to the cell yeah car image car name label yeah we assign it and one more thing we want to do assigning our table to the, our interface controller by the way it's a uh, interface controller the default is same with v controller is comes with the the, the default project creation in ios so interface you can delete it change it so you can do how you want it okay let's Firstly, get a car images. Now let's create our array, car array, and assign our uh, objects here. But before it, I want to create a, an object, a Swift file, car model, struct car model, let name string and let image string. Yeah, in, and track it here and our array will be car model array name Tesla Tesla so car model 
name BMW BMW Ferrari Aston Martin mm, yep okay now let's uh, start to table actions so unlike iOS applications here we don't have any cell for at index functions or number of rows number of sections etc so we just need to write table set number of rows car array dot count and list cell the row type is our cell so that's all we just uh, define the our count and our cells actually it's a mix of number of rows and cell for row index functions just showing the, our data in the list we just need to write for we just need to write for loop it will get index and data in car array Oops. something happened yeah. some x code bugs enumerated yeah and here we we're just writing the if let cell table row at controller just the each row in each index is our list cell if it's true then cell dot car name set text by the way everything in watch kit is not text is set text as you see set number of rows set text data dot name and cell dot image dot set image ui image named data dot image name so before run uh, i just want to talk about these functions it's just awake is uh, has the same logic with we did load and will active will appear disappear just same logics yeah let's run our application and see the result yeah it's loading by the way we can remove the, that loader thing yeah cool we have our list we have our images names let's make it a little better in our table as we said we have a space let's make eight and not scale aspect fill then run it again see the result yeah it's much better as you see we make space and for cool now let's uh, continue with just tapping the each row and uh, pa and passing the data to the next screen and showing the next screen so we need new interface controller just drag here and in this interface controller we will have a group so this group will be vertical and I want it with fixed height not 100 yeah maybe 100 is okay yeah 100 let's make it a little big 150 yeah 150 yeah it's good and let's add our just image okay. our image will be let's make it 80 and 80 or let's make it size uh, to fit just fitting the 
uh, image width and adding a label also yeah it's okay and one more button I want where's button here button yeah cool just removing the color and button this button is go back okay we will have make five yeah okay and let's uh, create new interface controller now interface controller second controller second controller I don't need these classes let's make it in other folder and make a little clear okay we have second controller and let's assign our variables to this controller before it we just need to add class second controller inherit from target yes now let's assign our variables image name label and button action button tapped okay so we will have a image label and button everything is good so what we need we need to pass the data to the next screen so we can write did select same logic with iOS side so here we can use a push controller with name second controller as simply and context so what is this context context uh, as you see it takes any type and it when we pass the data as you see in the awake function it it takes context variable with any type so when we push our controller and the first function is the awake function that called and it will get the context from here and uh, then we assigned our data inside of this uh, function so firstly what we want we want an image which is car array row index dot image and let name is car array row index dot name okay so let's write our dictionary I will add with dictionary I will add these variables to dictionary and pass it to the next screen like that image image okay we set everything to our dictionary make it a little clear and pass to our next controller and here we will just get our context let's see our context then let image equal to context image let name equal to name by the way as string both are a string so image uh, let's change it like that a string string okay so why we need 
So why we need this uh, declaration? Because our context doesn't know what we will get, a dictionary array, so we need to assign that we will get a dictionary. So let's write our image, that set image, UI image, name to it image. Or just let's write like that. Yes, and our name label, set text, cool, okay, yes, we can enforce because we know that we passed the data, or you can just write option. Okay, let's tap BMW. We have a second controller. Let's check from interface. Ah, sorry, we didn't assign the identifier here. Yep, now it will work. BMW, co BMW here. So as you see in the top left, we have a navigation button also. When we call that our second controller with push, we will have automatically, uh, we will have a navigation. But when we want to write present controller, it will just present the same as uh, presenting iOS and also it will come with cancel button so I like to write push and in button action we just need to write pop to come back to the first screen Aston Martin go back Ferrari yep that works fine uh, that's all for today and that's enough for first introduction tutorial for a watch kit and if you like it don't forget to press the like button and if you don't follow our page and just subscribe and open the notifications okay that's all for today i will see you in the next tutorials bye bye